for more complex problems, you want to also break them down into smaller steps. So if you're doing more advanced mathematics, the number of problems you're going to be solving per day is going to go down, right? So if, if, if you're in an algebra class, you, you have some homework and you might have 10, 20, 30 problems in that homework set. Maybe in calculus, you might have 10 or 15 per section. It all depends on the class, but when you get to higher level math, you have a lot less problems assigned to you because the problems are so hard and they take so much time to figure out. So you'll be doing less math if you're doing harder math. And this kind of makes it hard, um, but at the same time, you know, there's less problems that you have to contend with at that level in some sense. There's a different variety of problems and the problems are more complex. So when you encounter these complex problems, you know, you have less problems, but they're harder and longer you do have to try to break them down. You know, you read the question and your first step is, what is the question even asking? You have to understand what the question is asking, you know? And this can take you a very long time. I once spent like four hours trying to figure out a certain statement. It said, fix S naught and S. And I was like, what does that mean? And I remember I spent, I was on IRC years ago uh, in a chat room talking to someone and this guy's trying to explain it to me. And he was, you know, he was a really good guy trying to do his best. And I just couldn't get it, right? So understanding the problem is key. Once you understand the question, then you say, okay, what's your assumption? You know, if you're trying to prove something, what is your hypothesis? And then you write down what that means. Then you got to think about where you're going. And then, so you got to really break it down and break it down in steps and, and analyze every little piece of the problem. You know, what do you have and what are you trying to show? And then Think about the implications and the knowledge you know surrounding the theory that is being discussed in the problem.